Hey everybody, here's the uh, painting update for uh, the Mr. Jengles character. Um, this is from the Slug Zombies Series 2 pack I got, and I'll uh, put the link to the review in the description so you, can, you guys can read that and uh, check the other videos out too. I was kind of update what I'm going to paint on this guy, and I'll start here with the little bio they, that they give you. and um, It says his previous job was Bobo the Circus Chimp. Um, but I just kind of think of him as like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. But I think there's another character like that somewhere. So who knows? Um, his likes are bananas, tire swings, and opposable thumbs. He dislikes his cage, his boss, and his life. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, favorite food of banana braised brains? I don't know. Um, so I kind of, this figure, I don't know, it has nice details, and uh, it's turning out really nice. There's something about it, I just, I think it's just the face. Uh, it kind of bugs me. His eyes are kind of like, I think it said an ant or something in the review. They're just really, really cartoony. Uh, another angle here you can see is, he has these really like, they look like doorknobs, his eyes. I don't understand. Um, there's there's nice detail in the folds on his coat, and uh, he's got this uh, like a gash in the back of his um, and his on his back, and that's really a nice really nice touch, uh, as well as uh, like these little slits in his his jacket. Never saw this angle here. That it looks kind of weird there that that pose on his foot though. Um, but here's the first stage of painting. I first uh, I primed it in white and then um, did a light coat in white because I kind of wanted a little of the green to come through um, because I kind of like the little the chipped layers. It looks kind of cool, I think. And I could just build that up with highlights later, so it kind of adds a little texture. Might not be the best way to do it, but um, so here I just painted like a blue. I think it. I don't know what blue I have. It's, the only blue I have is that <laughs> that blue. So uh, painted it just the white one of that. Kind of almost dry brushed it and rubbed it in just to kind of get some different. Uh, just make me help me see all the the curves and stuff. And then did like a, a grayish brown. I kind of mixed it on on his skin so uh, the color wasn't mixed until I was painted on him so that's how that that turned out and uh yeah not much here's the back of it um on this this stage here i i started adding a little purple one with the blue kind of make the i thought the idea was the the coat might be like a this purple inside uh i think that's a good idea but i think the blue there is a little too, too, uh, shades are too different. Um, well, the other idea was that I decided I didn't want to make the, I think he's kind of like wearing a lab coat almost. And, uh, I didn't want to make it white because I see that all the time. I thought a little color would be interesting. And there's no rule that really you have to have a, um, things in uh, white for medical stuff. So here's the, late, the latest update I got on it. It kind of does look like the Wolfman a little bit, and I painted his little vial uh, silver there. Maybe I'll try to paint it so it looks like it's glass, but I don't really know how to go about doing that. Um, I really like... It. I kind of take a bad picture here. Um... But as far as looking at the figure on the table, I think his fur looks really nice. I'm really happy how it how it's turning out. I'm not really doing much blending, kind of more just dry brushing and uh, some washes. Uh, mainly because my paint selection is rather poor. Um, so it's coming together. I got to do something about his his mouth. I don't know. 
the sculpting there's kind of crappy so uh it's kind of hard to make things distinctive i guess and his eyes are just really bugging me because they're so like they're just poked out of his head so much so i thought of the idea maybe i'll just paint brown to kind of make a a painted eyelid there maybe see how that works uh, I kind of wish his ears were uh, I don't understand his ears they kind of look like a chimpanzee but then they almost look like a I think they should be a little better if they were pointed you know um, so yeah that's what I got so far in this one Not, I don't know kind of having mixed feelings about how it's going I like the fur so far. I, gotta, I think I'm going to take the coat. Um, paint's kind of glossy there, obviously, so I'm going to take that away. Um, I think I might make, mix a, a, make a, a bluish gray, kind of. I think that'll tone it down a little bit, make it a little less crazy there. Yeah, but this is the Mr. Jingles character. So let me know what you guys think, and um, check back soon. I'll do another update when I get some more done.